Hi friends, it's Carrie here with eatingonadime.com and today I'm making cheeseburger macaroni in your crock pot. It's a one pot dinner that the kids are gonna love. Go ahead and get the full recipe in the link in the description. My name is Carrie with eatingonadime.com and today we are going to make cheeseburger macaroni in your crock pot. It's a one pot dinner, meaning the noodles even cook in your crock pot. So this um, is one recipe you're going to need to make. Let's get cooking. So before I hopped on the video, I had already browned up two pounds of ground beef in my slow cooker. I have a like a five in one digital slow cooker, which means you can saute in here. So I did that. You don't have to, you could just do it in a pan and use your old crock pot or your traditional crock pot. So you do not have to have, you know, a regular one that works. Hey, Linda and Dorothy, Noreen. Hello. Thank you so much for sharing and hearting it. You guys are so awesome. Okay, I want to make sure I'm not missing any questions. I like to take question breaks. Now, if you want to save some money, you can do ground turkey in here. Ground turkey tends to be cheaper than ground beef. Or if your family's not a big fan of ground turkey, you can do half ground turkey, half ground beef in your slow cooker. When you cook it together, the turkey takes on the flavor of the beef and your family won't even know. So you can save a little bit of money, by, but you're still having ground beef. I do that a lot in these meals um, when I'm making tacos or when I'm making chili. My family doesn't really like all ground turkey, but if I do half and half, there's no complaints. So take it from the pro, right? Hold okay. On. Okay. So now that we've done that, we're going to throw in a little bit of onion, about a half an onion. Normally I slice, I chop this up before we hop on, but I forgot to. So I'm going to have to cry for you guys today. Move over. Mm -hmm. Now, some people are really smart and they just buy frozen diced onions. That's a smart idea too. We also have this post like that if you want to go to on how to chop an onion, super simple and easy where you don't have those big, large pieces. Um, Kelly, about the Thanksgiving meal planner, that's on Eat on a Dime. It won't let you put in my name and email. Just click out of it and see if it'll pop back up. Now you can saute these in here as well if you want to. Uh-oh, we got one that didn't get sliced all the way through. Get those back in there. I'm not going to because this is going to slow cook all day and these are going to get really soft. So I'm just going to mix in these onions. You could completely leave out the onions if you want to as well. Okay, then we're going to throw in some minced garlic. Let me get my measuring spoon. Okay, now I'm going to do a little bit more than what the recipe calls because I'm actually doing one and a half times this recipe um, because my family loves it so much they devour it. So instead of doing the two pounds, I'm actually doing three pounds and then I'm just 50 percenting all the ingredients as well. So like it'll say one teaspoon of salt. I'm going to do one and a half. Um, but our recipes make it really easy to double and triple the recipe if needed. Um, I just don't need it completely doubled for my family. I just have a large family. Um, but our e recipes are super easy to double and triple. And this can feed a crowd. It's a great way to stretch the budget. Budget. So that was pepper. So just minced garlic, salt, and pepper. So super easy seasonings. Then I'm going to throw in four cups of beef broth. Now I'm doing, uh, sometimes we talk about when should you spend money on broth and when you shouldn't. I really like the broth in this recipe, having the noodles cooked in there because we're cooking the noodles in the crock pot. 
that's really going to bump up the flavor in this recipe using the broth. However, if you want to save some money, you can do half and half, half, two cups of broth and two cups of water. But I would definitely use some broth in this recipe. It'll still be good. It just won't be as packed full of flavor. Okay, I forgot my Worcestershire sauce, so give me just a second. Okay, so I'm not, I couldn't find it just because when I'm on a video, for some reason, I can never find what I need, right? So I'm going to drizzle in some steak sauce instead of Worcestershire. The original recipe calls for Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. But again, remember how we're talked about how we're going to make this different ways. Steak sauce is delicious in this recipe because you, it gives you the tanginess, the same thing that a Worcestershire sauce would do. Okay. Okay. So I mixed all that in. We're going to cover this and cook this on low. That's it, right? We're going to let those onions soften and all the flavors combined. Okay, so what I'm going to do is about 30 minutes before I'm ready to eat, we're going to stir in 16 ounces of uncooked elbow noodles, okay? So we're gonna have elbow macaroni dumped in here. Remember, right straight in the pot, uncooked. Yes, you could do a bouillon cube instead of broth to help you save money as well. So we're gonna dump this in there, let it cook for about 20 to 30 minutes. I normally turn it on high. Then I'm going to shred about two cups of cheddar cheese and stir that in. Cheeseburger macaroni, done. And that's how easy this recipe is, okay? It is so good. It tastes amazing and it's super simple to make. Um, this really only needs just a couple hours. Um, you can head to work, come home, throw in your pasta, shred your cheese. Now you could do pre-shredded cheese to save time, but I highly recommend you take the few minutes to shred your cheese. The reason is it melts so much better when you hand shred it. And honestly, any kid can do this in the kitchen. I actually have a couple kids who love doing this and they do it every time for me at night. But think about it. I've already made the mess. I'm going to clean it up. And tonight, the only mess I'll have is shredding the cheese. Now, okay, let's talk about how we can make this recipe completely for different. Remember, you can get the full recipe at eatingonadime.com. Um, and if you can't find it, just search cheeseburger macaroni. I also have the link in the description below. But cheeseburger macaroni, and you can get... Um, you will also find our skillet version. Okay, so remember, this is just a regular cheeseburger macaroni. Let's talk about how we can make it different. If you want to give me some ideas, drop them below in the comments. But what I would do is, number one, you could do steak sauce like I did. Add some steak sauce instead of Worcestershire sauce. Super easy. You could do like a steak sauce, a Heinz 57 sauce. Those would be delicious. You can throw in broccoli or green beans or peas at the end. So when you throw in your macaroni, go ahead and throw in some frozen broccoli. Go ahead and throw in your frozen peas or, or drain some green beans, a canned green beans and throw it in and you'll have um, a delicious all in one casserole. Another idea is to swap out your cheese. Goodbye cheddar cheese. Let's do some Monterey Jack, right? Um, another idea is to throw in taco seasoning would be delicious. Maybe even add some bell peppers and kind of make a beef fajita pasta. You could change out your noodles. Penne would be good. Rice would be good. So for example, if you're going to do rice, what I love to do is use minute rice in my crock pot. It'll take about 20 to 30 minutes, but you're going to need one to one. So since we did four cups of broth. We need a cup to cook everything. So you could throw in probably two cups of rice in there uncooked and you would have a beef and rice. So the options are unlimited on what you can make with this. You could take out a cup of broth and you could add in some uh, tomato sauce. You could throw in salsa. You could throw in a can of Rotel. Yes, a gluten-free pasta works great. I've done this with gluten-free pasta as well. It works amazing. Protein pasta works great in here as well. And also um, like red lentil pasta works great as well. Now, if you want to cook your pasta outside of your crock pot, some people like to do that. They want to cook it on the stove, drain it and rinse it. Totally okay. If you're going to do that, just lower your broth to two cups 
cook this separately and then stir it in. Either way works amazing. Yes, you could throw in mushrooms, black olives. You could throw in Italian seasonings and pepperonis and do half sausage and you had a pizza macaroni. Like literally you can make your favorite dish with this simple recipe. So if you do not have this recipe saved, if you haven't pinned it, if you do not have it printed out, you gotta do it today because this is one recipe that you can make any night of the week. So, okay, I'm off my soapbox. No excuses that you don't have anything to make for dinner tonight because I've just given you the world's easiest recipe um, that you can make any night of the week. Drop the word recipe below and I'll send it to you. You guys have a fabulous day. I will see you next time in my kitchen. Bye friends.